Hello, Sudoku friends, and welcome to an evil puzzle by websudoku.com. Once again, I've transferred the grid over to sudokuexchange.com's user interface because I much prefer that one. I realize that I owe you a more challenging puzzle than the one I uploaded this morning. And I hope that this one will fit the bill, but I don't know yet. We'll have to find out. The evil puzzles by websidogo.com tend to be more difficult than the New York Times hard puzzles, but sometimes they can be easy as well. So we'll just have to wait and see. So while I've been doing this introduction, I'm noting the seven here and the seven here and the seven here, and they force a seven into this cell. And I also notice the three here and here and the three here, they block all of these cells from containing a three, don't they? So a three will have to go here. And now a nine will have to go in one of these two cells and uh, so will a two because we have a two here and a nine here. So a two and a nine will have to go here and we know where because we got a two already in the column. So the nine goes here and two here. And let's see what else we can find. Well, we know that these three cells will have to be a five and an eight and a four, four, five and an eight in some order meaning that these two will have to be a six and a one. And since there's a six already in this block, the one must go here and the six here. The eight here, here and here block all of these cells. And therefore this cell must be an eight. Now the eight here and here, of course, puts an eight in this cell. And these two now have to be a four and a five. There's a seven in this column and there's a seven in this column. And the only place left where we can actually enter a seven is going to be this cell right here and the seven here and here now in combination with the seven here that block all of these cells puts a seven in this cell. And these two sevens now puts a seven in this cell like so. And the last seven I think for the grid is going to go in this cell here because of the cell that blocks these three cells. So that wasn't so hard. Let's see what else this puzzle has in store for us. It's always nice to see a block of four digits because now it's more easy to find out, for example, that this nine here can only go in one of these two cells. And given the nine down here, we now know that a nine will go in one of these two cells, don't we? And this one here, blocks these cells, so therefore a one for this row will have to go here or here. I just noticed the three here and the three here and the three here block all of these cells from containing a three plus this one. Therefore a three will have to go here. And since we remember that one of these cells will have to be a one, we now know that a one for this uh, column two will have to go either here or here. It cannot go here because of the one already present in the row. Something to bear in mind for later. I'm also noticing that the nine and the six here will have to find homes in these three columns. And the five here means that one of these will have to be a five. Examining row four now tells us that we need to find a one, four, three, and a nine. A one, three, four, and a nine. Look at this cell here. This cell can be seen by a one and by a four and a nine, and therefore it must be a three. And 
this three here blocks these three cells. The newly found three here blocks these two cells. Therefore, a three for this row must go in this cell. And now we have a three here and a three here and a three here that puts a three in this cell in column four like so. And as we discussed a moment ago, the five here was forced to go into one of these cells. And since this cell now is occupied by the three, the five must go here. And since one of these two cells must be a five, and we now have a five for this row, we need to find a five for one of these two cells. And that's easy enough because we have this five up here that blocks this cell. Therefore, a five must go here. This is now a four or an eight, and this is a four or an eight. Not very helpful, I think, at this time, but um, let's see what's going to happen. Of course, this can also be an eight. So we have an eight possibility here, and we have an eight possibility here, and we have an eight possibility here. Let's see, maybe that will turn up something eventually. So while I'm thinking about that, we need to find a two, six, and a nine for these three cells. And they can't be placed at the moment, but it tells us that this is now a four or an eight, and this is also a four or an eight. And that's uh, somewhat interesting because as we recall, we had a four and an eight here as well. So this is a four and an eight, and this cell is a four. These two cells, four and eights. And that leaves for these three cells, the values two, five, and a six. This cell here cannot be a five or a six because of the five and a six here, so it must be a two. These two cells now have to be a five and a six making these three a one, two, and a nine. And uh, since there's a two here and there's a two here, this must now be a two, and this is now a one or a nine, and this is a one or a nine. And we are now back to the four or an eight here, and a four and an eight here, four and an eight here, four and an eight here. But I think we are making progress I'm also finding that the two and a nine here force a two and a nine into these two cells. That's not immediately helpful in terms of the twos and the nines, but I now know that in addition to the one that needs to go in one of these two cells, the other digit will have to be a four. So, these being ones and fours, it still leaves us to find a five, six, and an eight for these three cells, doesn't it? But we have a five here and an eight here, so this cell now has got to be a six. And these two are now five and eight. And since we needed to find a six for one of these three cells, we now know because of the six here and the six here, that it must go in this cell and the last two digits, two and nines must be distributed like this, nine here, two here because of the two here, right? And now the nine here and here puts a nine in this cell. That's a given. And uh, I think that things are clearing up for a six. So there's a six here uh, that blocks this cell. And of course, these cells are all blocked from being a six because of this six. And this six blocks this cell. So the six for this row five must go here. And uh, because of the six here now blocking these cells and the six blocking this cell, this is a home for a six. And remember what the other digit was? That's right, it was a five. It needs to go here. 
and this five now and this five puts a five in this cell and therefore in this cell and the old four goes here as we already discussed. We still need to deal with the four eight, the four eight, the four eight, and the four eight here and the four eight here, but um, they'll get more clear very soon. These two digits have to be a one and a four. It's kind of a theme, isn't it? A one and a four. We also got a one and a four up here. Anyway, what are these two? They're going to be a one and a nine. We have a nine already in the row. So this is a nine and this is now a one. And these two cells have to be a four and a one. And there is a one already in this column. So this is a four and this is the one. And that of course makes this a four. And this is a four, this is now an eight. This is a four, eight here. And the last digit here is going to be a nine. And the nine here and here, of course, puts a nine in this cell. This cell here is going to be an eight. And now we just need to find a one and a four for these two cells. And since this cell here cannot be a four, then this one must be a four. And this is a one, this is a one, and this is a one. The four up here is now a given. These two have to be what? A two and a five. We've got a two in the row. So the five goes here and the two here. And this five and this five now puts a five in this cell. The last digit, as we recall, was an eight. It must go here. And this cell now has got to be a four, making this one a one. And the last digit for the puzzle is going to go here. It's a nine. This puzzle wasn't really an evil puzzle, but it wasn't a hard puzzle either because it did require me to expend a few brain cells along the way. And I think that it was probably more fun to solve this one than the one I uploaded earlier today. In any event, I hope that you enjoyed it as well. And I hope to see you back here again soon. Goodbye for now. And thank you for watching.